Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to have unlimited servers on Eternals because you can normally only have one server. So if you want more, this is the way how to do it. So first of all, let's make our first server. So we'll create one and let's just call it Mangobirds slash Joey.Eternals. So me create. Uh, if you want to customize it, um, check my second tutorial link in the description. Um, I show how to set up plugins and mods and everything else. So then we go back to our servers and we have one. Now there's no other button where you can create, there's only a delete button. So what we're going to do right now is log out, okay? We're going to log out. And now we're going to sign up, make a different account. And we'll have to remember that our first username was MangoBird underscore Joey. So let's make MangoBird underscore Joey 2. Okay? I agree. And I agree. And let's just make a password. And sign up. Now we're going to have to verify using tractors. And now we're going to create another server. So let's create server. Mango, let's call it mango burjovi2.aternos.me. Create. And now we're going to go to access. And now we're going to give it access to mango bird joey, which was our first one. Add. And we're going to just do share access, which means it'll automatically add everything. Save. Now, if we log out and go back to our first one, which is Mango Bird Joey, and we put in the password, then we will see that we now have two servers the one that we just shared access to, and the one we just created. So, you could be doing this how much times you want, and you'll have those kind my you'll have unlimited servers technically because you could just be creating one more and more and more and more and giving you access so you'd have this, a lot of servers so i hope you appreciate this um, and i hope you subscribe and leave a like in the video uh, i'll see you next time goodbye and have a nice day